In part 1 of this video, we began looking at the four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, that we can do with the functions. We evaluated them at numerical values, and in this example, we're going to evaluate them at a variable value, x. When we see f plus g of x, we know this means we take f of x and add to it g of x. This is what we're going to do, knowing that f of x is the first function, x squared minus 5x, and we're going to add to it the g of x function, which is x minus 5. Notice as we make these replacements, I put the f in parentheses and g in parentheses. These parentheses are very important depending on the operation we're doing. This problem, as we simplify, we simply have to combine like terms to get x squared minus 4x minus 5. Let's take a look at subtraction. Subtraction means take the f function and subtract whatever the g function is. We'll do this by replacing the f of x with what it is, x squared minus 5x, and then we'll subtract the g of x function, the x minus 5. When simplifying with a negative outside the parentheses, we remember that means we must distribute the negative through first to get x squared minus 5x minus x plus 5, and then we can combine like terms to get x squared minus 6x plus 5 for our simplified solution. Let's take a look at multiplication. Multiplication means we take f of x and multiply by whatever g of x is. As usual, we'll always put these substitutions in parentheses. So f of x is x squared minus 5x, and g of x is x minus 5. As you recall, when we multiply these together, we can FOIL, giving us x cubed minus 5x squared minus 5x plus 25. There are no like terms, so this expression is simplified and our final solution. Division is the other operation to consider, where we take f of x and divide by the g of x function. By using parentheses, f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x over g of x, which is x minus 5. As you recall, we cannot simplify a fraction unless we factor first. The numerator, we can factor out the greatest common factor of x to leave us with x minus 5. The denominator, x minus 5, does not factor. However, looking at this form, we can see the x minus 5's divide out, and we're just left with the simple answer, x. As we can see, not only can we do some product difference and quotient with numbers, we can also algebraically manipulate the functions using just the variable x.